Already shaking loads, vibrating violently. So one of my last videos, I showed you how fast you can go in each gear. Now I'm going to show you how slow you can go in each gear without stalling. Let's go. So each car is going to be different. Right now I'm using a Ford Fiesta EcoBoost. The gears in this one, especially two and above, don't like low speeds. Let's see how slow you can go in first gear first before, without stalling. So at 10 miles an hour, it's still looking, it's still feeling quite smooth. It's not, it's not shaking yet. And I'm getting around five now. It's starting to feel a little bit rumbly. And then even lower than that, it's still fine, it's still going. Now it's really shaking a lot. And then around three miles an hour, it's stalled. So you could probably get away with going three miles an hour in first gear. So second gear in this car really hates slow speeds. So we're gonna see how long it's gonna take for it to, before it stalls. So if I start slowing down gradually, so right now I'm about, I'm about 15 miles per hour. It's still good. 10 miles per hour is still okay. But now it's starting to feel a bit of rumbling and the revs are going underneath 1000 RPMs. Now it's shaking a lot. And around five miles per hour is stored. I don't think you can go any lower than five. So second gear, it was comfortable just above 10 miles per hour. Then any lower than that, it started to stall. It started to really shake and then five miles an hour, that was the limit. So if you were to make a turn and you needed to do uh, less than five miles an hour, second gear wouldn't be ideal. Uh, we probably have to go into first gear for that. Let's see how slow we can go in third gear. So my dial right now is showing about 20 miles per hour. So I'm gonna start reducing my speed. And the rev's already gone underneath 1,000. And it's already shaking violently, 10 miles per hour. Yeah. So it's shaking a lot around just above 10 miles per hour. Then once we got to 10, that was it. It couldn't do any less than that and it cut out. So for gear three, I'll say even above 10 miles an hour is a bit too low for, this, for the speed. 15 max, any lower than that, it's, it feels terrible. So if you want to use gear three, I wouldn't be using it below 15 miles per hour in this car. Let's see how slow we can go in gear four. So I'm doing about 20 on the dial here and I'm starting to shake straight away at 20 miles per hour. Shaking a lot, violently. I'm gonna to try to bring it down gradually so I can see exactly when it's gonna cut out. It's shaking loads. And then 15, 10. So 15 miles per hour was the minimum for gear four. But it was shaking loads before that anyway. So now we're gonna see how slowly we can go in fifth before it stalls. So right now I'm just doing just under 30 miles per hour downhill as well. The revs are just around 1,000 or even going a bit lower. And I can really feel the vibrations of the car. It's really vibrating. I'm gonna start slowing down. No one's behind me. I'm gonna stop behind that bus. It's already shaking loads, vibrating violently. And then 15 miles per hour, it's stalled. So around between 20 and 15, but it was shaking a lot before that anyway. So for the high gears, it looks like it's around 15 miles per hour is the minimum, but before then it stalls. So you can actually still save it before then. So if, if you feel the car shaking and you're in the wrong gear, you can actually save it before, it, before it's too late. Let me show you what I mean. So like right now I'm in fourth, and if I start slowing down, I can feel the car shaking, then I can actually Gives me a warning so I can put my clutch down and then I could have gone into second if the road was clearer but I'll go into first because I'm stopping behind this bus anyway. So remember, you're always gonna get a warning before, way before the car stalls. You should have really put your clutch down before that but the vibrations will give you like a last chance to save it before it actually stalls. 